Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a quick review on the Lottie London Slay All Day Liquid Lipsticks. And I have the shades Hey Bay, uh, which is like a brownie colour, and hashtag TBT. Now I'm pretty sure I got the shade Fleek, but they sent me hashtag TBT. Um, but to be honest, it's actually my favourite colour out of the two. But it's kind of a shame I don't have Fleek, because Fleek was like a nice brownie new colour, but... I'll probably get that in the future. I just wanted to talk to you guys about um, the longevity and like the formula and the price as well. If you guys haven't watched one of my previous haul videos, I did say that I did kind of discover these Free Skin Face Beauty. She's the one that kind of uh, did a blog on these and she showed swatches and I instantly wanted them. But anyways, I will link her blog in the info box if you guys want to check her blog out. It's really good, simple to read and it's actually one of my favourite blogs to read because it's just so easy and I don't, I'm not a reading person so that's why I like, I like, really like her blog because it's just so to the point. And her presentation is actually really nice, like all white, sleek and all that jazz but she has a really good blog so I would definitely recommend checking her out. So right now I'm wearing hashtag TVT and it's like a deep dusty mauve colour like I actually really like it it's really nice like it's not too in your face and I think the colour is really nice I got these on the Superdrug website for $8.95 they come with a lip liner and a liquid lipstick now can we please talk about the packaging first because I think it's actually really really cute this is how it comes with like little lips and I think it's very like sleek and think I th like for a drugstore product I think this is really really cute and you get like the shade like on the tip like that and they're actually colored as well according to the lipstick color so as you can see these two are different and it comes with a lip liner and a liquid lipstick and again the packaging is really really nice so the lip pencil comes like this and it's just a regular sharpening pencil and yeah it's really pretty I think very sturdy does have a negative side to it which I'll talk about later. Okay, I'm just gonna swatch this for you. That's the creamy. That it's actually really creamy. I have to say that it's super creamy liquid lipstick colour. It has that really pinky mauvey colour to it, which I really like. The liquid lipstick comes with a regular doe foot applicator and you get around six mil in here, which is not bad. It does have like a more plastic packaging. The, obviously the lip line as well but it feels more it, they feel very sturdy like I really like it the, the, it has like a black matte top like a lid to it I can't find my word today so this is Hey Bay it's more of a brown colour okay see as you guys saw literally it just broke off and it happens all the time like now I have to sharpen this like the, every time I sharpen it if you put like a little bit of pressure on there it's fine but if you put a little bit more literally it will snap off so yeah that's the lip liner there in Hey Bay it's more of like grey I would say it does have a greyish tone to it um, but it's more on the brown side obviously but to be honest the fact that they break so easily is such a downside to me because you're wasting so much product and it just literally snaps right off and it's done this for me like so many times like I was just waiting for it to happen it did and I didn't even put that much pressure on it and just snaps off and I'm gonna swatch the liquid lipstick I'm really bad at swatching guys so I don't know if you guys can see sometimes it comes out in clumps like this I don't mind that but I don't know I just think it's really weird it blends right away but just it's really weird so as you can see it's more of a brown but I will swatch it on my lips and when I put it on my lips it looks more of a greyish brown but right now it looks like a warm brown which is not to be honest. So I would definitely give the packaging a 10 out of 10. The longevity of the lip liners is amazing like when I eat it will come off a little bit in the inner bit but that's it. It feels very comfy like my lips are so dry at the moment I didn't even put any lip balm on and it actually stays on really really well and it doesn't dry like it does have that dry side to it like it definitely dries out really well but it doesn't feel like tight on the lips it doesn't make my lips crack or anything like that it just feels normal also when I smile it doesn't crack like most drugs or lip liquid lipsticks do for me and I, I kind of like how the lip liner is a tad bit darker if you can see it's like that tad bit darker so it does it's it does a good job at contouring your lips and really defining the lip 
the outer rim of your lips so yeah I definitely like that I love the colors I love the formula it smells like watermelon and overall I'm really happy with them like that I think I would definitely recommend these to anyone the only downside to them is that the lip liner breaks so easily which kind of sucks because obviously I've got like a chunk of lip liner over there on the floor and right one one on right underneath my feet so yeah it just kind of sucks because obviously you're wasting product and there's obviously something wrong but I guess that's like a side effect to it being so creamy I guess because I think they are really creamy but those are very wearable colors I really like them and I actually will get fleek I think that's the name I will get, definitely get that one because it's more of like I would say that's more similar to Anastasia Beverly Hills Ashton yeah so this is hashtag TBT on me my lips are kind of dry but they don't feel dry like I feel very comfy in them I don't feel like I don't feel like it's tightening tightening because I would say the Colourpop for example the Colourpop liquid lipsticks are very dry <laughs> they're like more on the dry side they are very pigmented but I definitely feel it there but this I just feel like there's nothing on my lips and there's no tackiness the lip when you put the lip liners all over there is a slight tackiness but when you put the liquid lipstick on top there's no tackiness whatsoever I'm gonna swatch Hey Bay for you guys I'm trying to be extra careful with the lip liner. So the lip liner is very similar to the pigmentation on my lips, to be honest. And then I'm just going to go with the liquid lipstick. I do also have to say that once you apply them they feel more of like a mousse rather than a liquid I would say but then they dry completely matte so they are very quick to I would say 30 to 40 seconds for it to dry transfer proof well it's not completely dry but that's there's a little bit that comes off but they're transfer proof to me like I like the colour but it's more on the greyish brown side like it's not coming up on camera as well so yeah that's all i have to say on these my overall opinion is that they're really good i would definitely rate them a 9 out of 10 because i think they last really well on the lips they're super comfy the smell is really nice it smells like watermelon the only thing that is a letdown for me is the way they break well the lip liners like it's all over my feet right now oh, I stepped on it. but yeah that's the only downside to me i think for the price it's not that bad to be honest and you just have to be extra gentle with the lip liners but they are very creamy and very pigmented and they work well with the liquid lipsticks i don't want to ramble on too much about them but yeah they're just really good and i definitely would recommend checking out their colors because they're very wearable colors they have a deep maroon purpley color that i really want to get and i definitely want to get fleek and it's definitely something that i want to buy again because I know they're really good and they're comfy to wear and because they're drugstore they're, that's even better so yeah that's all I have to say about these uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, if you want more lip swatch videos or more lip product reviews or any product review let me know and list them in the comments below if you have a particular product in mind I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to hit the thumbs up if you did subscribe if you're new to my channel I love you guys and I will see you next time bye